No. 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 No, you didn't. No. Put the gun down. Don't. You're crazy. You're. You're nuts. You guys might not know, it's Azure. Uh, plays Succession Musa. Smaller content creator, getting bigger. Getting bigger. Very successful YouTube. Um, has a successful Twitch stream as well. This is the new beginning, Iron Man number one. We have a number of different creators that do the Iron Man series. It's Sick Loot, and then I believe that there's one other guy uh, that uh, the center of their content is basically this Iron Man series. I've been playing Black Desert Online on and off since around 2018, and more actively- At what point in the year do you start listening to Christmas, Christmas music? Never. Usually around November, December. No, December. Because until Thanksgiving is over, I actually just- I, If somebody starts playing uh, Christmas music before Thanksgiving, I get out my shoddy. In-game. On COVID, when I first started making content about my progression, I fall in love with this game, and every time I take a break to play something else, I always come back to the familiar comfort in which BDO provides. With recently achieving 700 gear score, which essentially opened the doors to the entire game, I noticed that my gear progression has begun to slow down. At this point in the game, it takes even more hours to grind for those tedious rare drops, and gear costs upwards of 100 billion silver on the central market just for a single upgrade. It was inevitable that I would reach this part of the game, but a few months back, I came across a video by Sick Loot, which popped up in my recommended. Yeah, see, Sick Loot, that's my boy. I love Sick Loot. As you guys that don't know, Sick Loot is one of the uh, Iron Man goers. He's a unit. And he was playing the game in a way that I haven't seen before. He began playing the game in what is known as an Iron Man, which is a turn from RuneScape, which means self-sufficient. Basically, he was playing the game of Black Desert how we're all familiar with, but with some restrictions on his account. Some examples are that he has no access to the central market, he doesn't take advantage of seasonal gear, and so on. Now, I've only- Yeah, that. Yeah, no. No access to the market? You're nuts. You are crazy. No access at all? I can understand, like, making everything yourself. No access to the market is like cutting your own nuts off, dude. It's that that's just no, there's just no shot, bro. Only seen the first couple minutes of his video because I felt like this would be a fun way Sick to- Sick does that? I know, that's what I said. Bro, is this on? Sometimes, I swear to God, bro, some dipshit in my chat gotta say some dumb shit. Play the game later on, and I wanted to have as close to a fresh experience as possible. But what really brought this just to my said attention that. is like, when I... I got my new PC a while back, I was cleaning out some old files to make room for some more footage when I came across some old screenshots of when I first originally played this game. Look okay, yeah, you're f***ing reported. That guy got a dim tree from dim tree. Do you guys have any idea how rare that is? That is stupid. The field boss dim tree, like the reason everybody wanted dim tree back in the day is because it gave you 100 HP and Red Nose gave you HP regen, which we all know is a complete joke. So before Dead God existed, long before Dead God existed, it was Dim Tree or you were griefing. Everyone went Dim Tree, right? Um, and the big problem is the developers knew this. Dim Tree was super rare. Like it, getting it from the field boss was a joke. You know, like you would go, but like you're just not getting it. Realistically, the only way to get that piece of armor was through the night vendor. Uh, like, there's just no way. The, the fact that he got that is insane. Looking back on those photos really brought me to a time when every mob and area was new to me. I remember exploring the areas outside of Velia and Calpheon, grinding with my friends at Helms for Azula accessories. Or gr I remember grinding for the Azula accessories. I remember going around. And when the update dropped, I remember the day that Note and I went around together and grinded all the different grind zones so that we could get our Azula accessories. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Man, those were the days, dude. Every grind zone was new. It was super scary to go out and grind because everybody had more gear than me. Like... Running for XP at Catfish because those were the best spots we could grow. Uh, I never did the Catfish days. I wasn't around time. for those. And with the current state of being... I remember getting on one day. I don't think Note's in the chat right now. But, like, 
one weekend, Note and I had off. Um, and we started the game together. So we had off one weekend, and I really wanted to get to 58. And he was like, I need a bunch of money because I want to get my baby elephant or whatever the fuck he wanted to... He, like, he was weird. He, like, he, did, he was like a gatherer, which was like, wow, um, that kind of guy. Anyway, um, we grinded for 20 hours in two days. It was... That's the most that either of us had really, like, played. Like, it was nuts. It was, like, 13 hours of active playtime a day. Because, you know, you got to... Back then, you had to go to town, come back, right? Go to town, unload, come back. Go to town, unload, come back. So, when I say 20 hours of grinding, it was really, like, 13 to 14 hours of work. Because you're constantly running back and forth to Kushu, where your storage is, or whatever, to, like, constantly unload all of your shit. Um... Because, like, wait, there were multiple types of trash loots. There's, like, the... Uh, everything clogged up your inventory. The forbidden books were nuts. Like, it was just absolutely ridiculous. We grinded for 20 hours in two days. We get to the end, we're like, oh, man. Let's see how much money we made. And then we added it up, and we made $6 million an hour. Literally six. Not 60. Not 600. Six million silver an hour. I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Yo. P filling up your boats at Pirate was so bad. I still have my fishing boats at Pirates. They're still there. I feel as though a lot of those original grind locations are overlooked. And I... Was that a lot back then? I would say that the maximum silver per hour for like the whales, the people that like had um storage in the cities and had full weight and full inventory and tier tier four pets because you only had four pets back then um with like pack mules so some losers would so what would happen is one guy at saucens which typically was an awakening caster typically awakening wizard would go around he would just nuke all the mobs but his pets couldn't keep up right so at, he would have four pack mules who were all just leeching and there would be like special deals on um and like he would just go around and people would just like run around behind him and he would just get all this loot right like that's that's how it worked um but there were three different types of loot so when we went to go grind my homies rolled up with a wagon and back in my day if you were serious about grinding you didn't roll up with a horse you rolled up with a merchant wagon Holy shit, that was crazy. And so I would say those people that had like storage in Kusha and had like the optimized shit, those people were making maybe 14 million an hour when I started. That went up to about 20 million. And that was like the high 20 million hours crazy. If you were like giga optimized, that was like a few months after I started. It was about 14 million when I started. It was like so really like that was considered really good. Six million silver was considered like average. Six to eight million an hour was considered average. Experience that nostalgia again. But with that out of the way, let's get into the account. The rules, restrictions, and anything else that may be worth noting. First off, this account will be entirely free to play. Okay. I will not be purchasing pearls on this account, which no means I will not be buying a tent, okay. additional weight, extra sword slots, okay. or any other pet that could benefit my experience. That's fair. I can only use what is provided through naturally playing the game. People keep asking me if I'm going to do this, and the answer is... No, I like to enjoy my game experience. Game. But look, you can enjoy the game free to play, but like, and I'm just going to enjoy it more if I spend a little money and I just don't want to do it. I will allow myself to use the loyalty shop. Secondly, I will not be allowed to access the central market, which means I cannot purchase or sell items unless from an NPC. This will also include not being able to use the warehouse. You're crazy. This is crazy. This is literally insane. Storage. Everything I obtain on this account will be acquired through grinding, life skilling, or questing. Next, I'll be restricting myself from using the seasonal server. This includes any catch. Here it is. I remember watching this and laughing at this dude. I remember watching this. Uh, look. Dungeoneers is in my chat pretty frequently. I love Dungeoneers. I love you, buddy. He was one of the content creators I used to watch all the time. But this started a Calpheon-only Iron Man four years ago. 
Okay. Where? Let, I'll let him explain it real quick. Calfion is one of the most interesting areas in the world of Black Desert Online. It features and no. <laughs> what? Bro, you're crazy. You're nuts, dude. This dude was AFK fishing in the Calpheon River. I remember the video. The dude is grinding Karudo Cave. Bro, there have been some stupid attempts at Iron Man's in this game. People always try to Iron Man BDO. I like they restrict themselves to region. That's crazy. That's the dumbest. Anyway, I would watch it just to see how far he was gonna get it. I think he got all the way to episode one uh, before he stopped. I'm not joking. I don't think that there was an episode two. I, I actually, I think there was an episode two. If I is it this one? Nope, that's rags to riches. Yeah, Calfion only. Yeah, no, he only got one episode. Literally one episode. Maybe it was this one. Hey there, however, if you are Dula Set, which No no, this is it right here. So he got six episodes in. Hour. That's about an elite spawn I want you guys okay, grinding. Let's see, the loot breakdown. Okay, this should be good. It was about this is five years ago. This is actually before his Calfion only. This is just his like rags to riches series. Um like, this is just him gearing up on his normal account. This isn't, like, the, the Iron Man, I don't think. But, first of all, look at the UI. I'm going to let him explain to you how much money he's making. Look. Enhanced boots. Uh, 41 Witch's Magic Amulets. If you're above level 40, you can use these uh, to complete a quest. Uh, I, I've never done it. I have no idea how to do it. I don't... Do you know what we call that now? Trash. Blue, don't you mean trash loot? No, I don't. No, I don't really care too much i usually just bin them uh but you get a couple of these on every yeah that dude has renown score on single rotation around the map but oh you guys see that blue that green bar right there i bet you guys are wondering what that is right oh, well what's weighing him down so much well that would be the whopping five hundred and ninety one thousand silver that he has on him yeah, that's right. Silver had weight back then. And it was heavy. And it was heavy. I managed to get 41 of them. Now onto these. Magic Crystal of Abundance Armor. Uh, these drop pretty much every single time you kill an elite mob at Hex Sanctuary. Which is kind of annoying because they're really not good and they're not worth anything. So as you can see... Those aren't even in the game anymore. See, I killed six elites on my rotation in one hour. That's about an elite. They weren't even good five years ago, guys. That's how f garbage that f crystal was. One every 10 minutes, it seems to be the average. And that's really not too bad. Uh, they do drop some better stuff, though. Like, they drop these traces of death. These are worth about 7k a piece, and I got... Nah, you never sold that shit. You used it for alchemy. 27 of those. Uh, mainly from the elite mobs. I think I got it maybe one time, maybe once, uh, from a regular mob, but usually they drop from the elites. We got 11 witches' pouches. Now, the witches' pouches, uh, are kind of weird. Basically, you, you take them down to a regular store and you sell them at the store. You don't sell them on the marketplace. Uh, you just sell them. It's really weird. It's, it's this idea called trash loot for silver and they're worth 6500 a piece and i managed to get 11 of those now these are actually extremely annoying because they look very similar to the relic shards when they pop up when you're looting really quickly uh and you think you're getting something good but nope you're only getting 6500 uh and outside of that guys the only other thing we received is four armor stones one weapon stone and 1200 guys how much do you think that inventory is worth right there how much do you think he made tops this motherfucker got five black stones in an hour. Trash fragments. Now the trash, uh, every single trash that you get in the game can be, well, pretty much all of them. This is what it was like. Y'all motherfuckers 
don't can be understand. either traded in to just a regular old shop and sold for silver. These ones sell for 262 apiece. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you can see there, if I were to head over to the Kepler Quarry or much closer Bear, uh, I could exchange 100 of these for 55k, and I got 1,267 of them. Uh, now, of course, last but not least, we also managed to get a Uria Gauntlet. To Big money. That's like 20% of his silver. That's like 20% of his silver per hour right there, but crazy. I remember the patch. I remember the patch where they added the ability for gear to drop enhanced at like up to plus 15. We were all like, what? My silver is going to be crazy. It was, it was insane. It was nuts. 298,000. I mean, obviously it's a Uria weapon. They're always worth it. All right. No, the witch's earring is 15 mil or 12 mil. Decent amount of money on an I think that's how much it used to be worth. If you get an enhanced one, it'll be worth even I'm more. I'm trying to remember. But we managed to get one of those, a nice cool 200K in the bank. And finally, we are going to open our mysterious treasure chest. I have never gotten anything good out of these ever. Maybe this will be the first time, but as far as I'm aware, there's nothing good in there. You don't really get anything. And if you do get something really, really good, usually your character will really, like, jump up. Oh, wow. And be excited. So uh, what do we manage to get here? We got a steel pickaxe. Oh, he moused over the, the witches here. And be excited. So uh, what do we manage? I am a gamer. I remember the price of witches earrings five years ago. I am gaming. Holy shit. What do we manage to get here? We got a steel pickaxe, 54K. I can do some gathering maybe, but there we go, guys. That is what we got in our one hour grind at Hex Sanctuary. All this stuff here adds up to 19 minutes. Holy shit! What a that's crazy. Keep in mind this is after the patch where they added this. So this is higher silver per hour average than normal. Okay. This is this is way higher than when I said like six to eight was average. That was before they added the enhanced gear drop stuff too. He's grinding at hex, and the idea was that you got a witch's earring and boom, you're good. Keep in mind, if he didn't get a witch's earring, minus 12 mil off the top. How much money is he making? That's right, seven million an hour. Because he didn't get an enhanced drop. Million eighty-three. Th That's my point, though. All right, more to the point. Yeah, I love Dungeoneers. The idea of doing a uh, an Iron Man run in only Calpheon was like the dumbest thing. So usually, when I see an Iron Man series, I like to check it out because I want to see what they're going to limit themselves. This is really hard, but I don't consider it impossible. This, like, this is extremely difficult, but it's not impossible. Only playing the game from one region, that's impossible. Uh, Lust Blood, thanks so much, man. If you're watching the YouTube right now, you're in it. I remember taking a break and seeing the UI update and saying, God damn, that looks sleek, and now it looks outdated as <laughs> it's true. Up gear or accessories that could jumpstart my progression. Wait. I mean, you don't have to. Believe it or not, if you don't do seasonal, you can kind of just speed run the normal gear. You'll be fine. Some examples are Naru gear, Tuvala gear. Three Wait, oh, you're not going to use the Naru gear? Wait, then. Oh, my God. True Iron Man. He's going to put on Grunil. My skin guy. He's going to have to make Grunil. Like a... Like the dwarves of old. Like the players of yore. That motherfucker is gonna have to make his own Grunel grinding at Saucen. Three enhanced accessories given out through level rewards, Narchillian gear, and Cliff's weapons. I will, however, allow myself to use Kaposha accessories as long as I make them myself. I also will not be utilizing the guaranteed pen boss gear and accessories through Jatina. I'm only applying this rule strictly for me. Yeah, and people ask me why I don't want to do this. It's because I can't be f***ed. Yeah, I'm just going to watch everyone else do this. I'll spectate while he does it. You know what I mean? Making this challenge even more strenuous. 
I will, however, give the green light to the free pen armor through the Magnus, since this is a quest line I'm going to have to complete for not only my fair. Magnus ability, That's fair. but for also remote access to all storages. Any EXP earned on this account will be obtained through my own means. I will not be allowed to be boosted. Oh my god. That's fine. I mean, like, the no boosting is like, I get it. Okay, sure. To buy other players, and this account will only have one character. I cannot create additional characters to place. This is motivating me to try this. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I wanted to watch this video. It kind of motiv motivated me to try it too. Um, but upon re uh, upon watching the video, like, all the way through, now I can realize that there's no way I'm doing this. There's no way I'm doing this. You can yourself with that and that's probably okay that's the only one that i would i'm on iron man mode you know what i mean yeah i can't there's no way bro. like i would get me. i would get to like velia and realize that i have to put on like militia gear and be like um no lastly i will be restricting myself from using any codes how do you get full boss gear the night vendor he's gonna roll night vendor that's the only way to really do it from Pearl Abyss. Let's see. In order to do this, you have to have the knowledge of an older player if you're going to do something like this. If you're a veteran player, you could theoretically get this done because you have all of the useless knowledge uh, from like forever ago. Now, nowadays, I just said Nightbender and all the new players in the chat. Who? Exactly. I will, however, allow myself to claim any rewards given through the daily login, the Black Spirit Dice minigame, events, and the progression pass. And since the daily special falls under the category of login rewards and events, I will be allowing myself to claim anything through that feature as well. And with some additional notes, I know that this will be a difficult and tedious experience, but I'm going to be enjoying every step of the way. And if no, you won't. I'm calling that I'm calling that bullshit right now. Ain't no way you're enjoying that. <laughs> Fuck that. If you want to copy any of the rules or have any questions, please feel free to join the Discord server linked down below. And with all of that nonsense out of the way, let's hop into things and see where this journey Yeah, so one time a content creator named Tiltus, you guys probably remember him from the, the Old Moon uh, or like podcast. He said he started doing an Iron Man series and one of the things on his Iron Man, remember, everybody's Iron Man is different, guys. So whenever someone starts an Iron Man series, you check and see what dumb shit that they're gonna do so we can watch them get up right and like completely shit the bed like uh, that their suffering is our entertainment you know what i mean tilt has had the great idea to say that if my character dies i have to start over just like hardcore wow and he made it to uh velia yeah um before somebody literally stream sniped him and immediately killed him with 745 gear score yeah good fight Journey takes us. Welcome to Black Desert Online, Iron Man Edition. When's your hardcore run? Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't be. I'm the reaction guy. I can watch you guys do that. I, I don't do stupid shit. Yeah. All right. So this is what I settled with. Um. Male character can't relate. Yeah. I want to make sure that this is not taken. Not Azure. Create. So I discovered when creating a new account, it forces you to make a seasonal character. And because my rules state that I can only have one character on the account and that I also can't play seasonal, I awaited the brief timer until the seasonal character was deleted to start my adventure. And shortly I love how they made it like idiot proof. Like you have to make a seasonal character your first time. And he's like, no, I'm stupid. After the beginning of the intro tutorial story quest thing, I was approached by what I believe is to be one of the most important decisions. There's a f dev somewhere going like, why the f would you ever not want to make a seasonal character? Some f moron. Why, like we'll be making here on this account. Now, I'll be starting with the Mountain of Eternal Winter quest line, strictly because once you finish it, you'll be rewarded with an accessory that I'm pretty sure we'll be using for a long time. Bronte's Bolt. Plus, you also get two free pets, which are very necessary since I'm not allowed to purchase any. I'm 
I'm gonna enjoy watching him do this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna enjoy watching him suffer. Respectfully, All of course. Right, like pet number one. That pains the mountain. Ex Chief Hoon, it might take a while. And pet number two. I forgot how much I really like the Mountain of Eternal Winter theme music. You guys can hear it in the background. Can you hear that? It's so good. I have no idea what to name it, so I'm just going to name it what it's named after. And after a little over two hours of questing, we finished the Mount of Eternal Winter, which rewarded us with that accessory I was mentioning earlier, the Bronte's Bolt. Yep. We were also rewarded with a tier five horse and our first storage made, but- Oh my God, the horse. Did he allow himself to get the dream horse? Having my first piece of real gear feels so no. satisfying. And even though I could you just can't continue not questing get the dream into horse. my brain rots, I decided to look into some early game armor for my character. After some research in comparison between green tier gear, I landed on Grunel armor being the best that I could. Yeah, you did. I love being right. I love being right. Honestly, like you can have at the beginning portion of this. Make sure you ultimate it because you get extra stats when you ultimate it. This game. The only problem is that the two lowest AP spots in the game that drop it. Are Who in the f just said pen grun grun? How do you know that? How did you know that? How did you, what did you just, that dude just referenced something. I'm going to explain this story. The old members of my chat already know it. But there was a member I used to be a long time ago. Way back, way back when I was in a guild called Intrinsic Quality. This is like before anything. I was like a newer adventurer at the time. And I was attempting my, my dandy. My way of attempting pen boss armor back then was to just roulette all of my gear straight down to pry with one durability and then run back to Desert Fogans and begin grinding again. Get it all the durability back up, get everything back to Tet, and then repeat the process. Okay? Like, that's how I attempted Pen. And I failed, and I failed, and I failed, and I failed, and I failed. Okay? Over and over and over again. Anyway, one day, on a reset, because I just failed like 13 or like 7 more times in a row, um, I'm on my way back to Nagas. Everything has one durability. The entire, like, you know the little armor guy that flashes in the top right when your gear is low on durability? Yeah, he's just flashing red. Uh, all over. I'm riding back out there, and my buddy in the guild, um, just, he's just like, he's like, yeah, I need a fail stack so that I can try to hit my dandy. I need to get up to, like, an 80 stack. He's like, all I have is Tech Grunil, because, like, back then, Tech Grunil was totally fine. Like, wearing Tech Grunil was totally okay, because boss gear was super rare back then. Like, um, I didn't even have all my boss gear yet. I was still on Grunil for some of it. Um, but, like, I'm riding out to not desert uh, Fogans, right? And he's like, I don't have a fail stack. I'm just going to roulette my Grudil, um on this 20 stack. And I'm like, dude, don't do that. That's stupid. Like, that's like th that's literally like the dumbest thing. If you guys remember getting Tet back in the day, it was like the hardest thing in the entire world. Like, why would you ever attempt Tet on a 20 stack? He's crazy, right? And then above my eyes... Pen Grunel enhancement, enchantment success. Or enhancement success. And all I hear in voice, there's this long, there's this long pause in voice. And he just, he leans into his mic. Pen Grun Grun. And I just lost my shit. I literally just, I completely, I like flipped my keyboard. I started screaming at him. I was so mad at Zoda for hitting that enhancement this dude hit a pen grunel on a 32 stack in 2017 pens didn't even exist yet like and then so like the running joke of the entire pen grun grun now every time i mean a pen grun grun that's why Poopster said pen grun grun in the chat and I literally internally I'm still mad at him. I'm still mad about it. Like I'm still upset. I remember being so mad because I just failed all my pen attempts. Are well above my current AP range. 
and after just testing to see if maybe I could get by with spamming health potions, I decided to take some of the black zones I earned through my story to increase my AP. No. 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 No, no you didn't. No. Put the gun down. Don't. You're crazy. You're you're nuts. Keep in mind, he has to get every black stone himself, guys. Every single black stone must be earned himself. No, you just get armor. You, if anything, enhance your armor. Still gonna die. How did that help? How in the f did that help you? You did like, damn, I can't improve my gear in any possible way. I have to do this. Still gonna get one shot? No way. <gasps> oh. Do you guys remember the days when you could literally get an ear, a gear enhancement from a drop? One of my old friends walked into Bassy Den one day, a duo Bassy drop. This was the day that they allowed accessories to drop enhanced. The same day that they allowed gear to drop enhanced. Everyone else went to like the normal grind spots to get the gear because the accessories were probably going to be impossible to get. He walked into Bassy Den with his dick hanging out and got a duo Bassy drop on his way out of Bassy Den that day and just equipped it because it was the best. He didn't have a, he didn't have a duo belt. He just equipped it. Oh, he's like, oh, an upgrade. Our first piece of armor. Oh my God, we got a chest plate. Let's go. Our first piece of armor. This is crazy. That feels so good to have now. I'm actually going to level this up a little bit just to get some extra DP on my character. I think after plus five, yeah. After plus five, we gotta start actually taking into account uh, how many black zones we have because right now, these are pretty valuable for me. Send it, pussy. I don't have knowledge on him yet, so I can't tell exactly how much HP he has left, but his HP bar is super red. Yeah, because you have 30 AP at a 108 AP spot. Second now. This was She's a 35 a minute anime fight, bro. <laughs> oh, I only got a weapon box. Congratulations. It's an axe. <laughs> Keep grinding, pussy. You guys forget that it gives you a random weapon. He can't, like, he, he's got nothing. He's got to get a blade. And not yeah. for my spec. And by the way, you can't sell that on the market either. Okay. okay. We were also given another... Can you use weapon exchange coupons on as well weapons? Please put in a support ticket. Please. The CMs will frame it. Storage made here through the on Black God. Spirit. And even though this will be of better use later on after I complete the Magnus quest line, I was also given our first artifact, which is going to be a Yo, PMA, he only needs storage mates. Huge increase in damage early on due to the plus six AP against monsters. This is a isn't this a an Iron Man? Why does he have a value pack on? I don't Does he have a value pack on? Oh he does. Probably because they gave it to him as a login reward. They gave it to he said login rewards were fair game. You start with a value pack? Okay, never mind. That's it. That's the reason. Whoa. Whoa. I, I haven't heard someone get a Riddell earring and go, whoa, since 2017. God damn. What a gear upgrade. Got a little bit of extra DP Where are you? on the We'll take it, man. I know the that Riddell the earring is a 5 DP earring. It's not even AP. It's just Azula DP. accessory drops here. It's crazy. That's what we would prefer to. Yeah, this is what he's here for is the Azula necklace. But you know what? 
I'll take that as well. That fills the slot. That dude's gonna blast you. Yeah, you better be careful. Yeah. We got a defense gear box. Oh, we Pog? Gloves? We got gloves. <laughs> nice. We'll take it. We'll take I it. Mean, I... What was the last time you got a drop while you're grinding and you're just like, sweet, an upgrade? <laughs> Do you do plan on going back and to main to replace it. that with Grunnel? But that is a good oh, yeah, place order plus for now. Five. Oh, I have a few boxes here. Okay, not ours. Already have a chest place. We can use fun. that. Yeah, give it, give it a few hours. Ignore stiffness. It's not bad, but. I need a Remember guys, and he can't use the central market, so he has to vendor this stuff. Boots. Actually, if he's smart, he heats yeah. it, right? But, but I guess those vendor for less, so maybe not. Wait, didn't they remove those? I guess they didn't remove those. Those are gold. This dude. He's getting his crystals together, boys. I respect it. You know, when you talk about budget crystal setups, that's something. That's crazy. I didn't even think about his crystals. He's fucked. Remember, can't use the marketplace. Gotta get him yourself. Good with one character. He will have one rebellious crystal. Because he can only do the comic quest line one time. That'll help me a little bit. Good luck with your gear and steer, Chief. Oh. Shoot! Okay. Still no weapon though. Yeah, that's a better placeholder. We'll take that. And since my damage was still lacking due it's to gear, I again. primarily was right. relying on my black spear rage. Stop. No. So I decided Stop. to put Stop. some more black stones Stop. into my weapon. Stop. No. No. Oh. Stop. Plus eight. I'd have paid good money to have a guild member literally go. Wait, back up. If he was in a guild, imagine your guild member seeing Rusty Blade plus eight enhancement success. Back up. <gasps> Wait, I got another piece of Grunnel gear. Hold on, hold on. Please don't be a duplicate. Oh my gosh. Wait, when you look at the two set effect, we do get you get five AP. That's why everybody used Grunel back in the day. Three set effect was one fifty. Four set effect was plus two more AP for seven AP total. This is why everyone used Grunel back of the way. Try Ultimate Grunel was like the gold standard for mid game gear in BDO back then. Get uh plus five AP, which will help a lot. Plus, I can enhance these and gain some additional DP. To Grunel, to he yeah, a lot of people did that plus too. Five. Boom! Look at that. And then swapping that out from my Jerian, Agarian. Not sure I pronounced that, but plus nine DP, and we have the extra plus five AP. You do not have enough gear for Saucens. From the two set effect on Grunel. That's big. This for dude the isn't even awakened yet. Oh. He's level 55. Wait, another piece of Grunel gear? Hold on. Please, please don't be a duplicate. Oh my gosh, be a helmet. Ideally, a helmet. Oh my god. Reported. Gosh. Wait, dude. Oh my god. Three piece Grunel? That gives me an additional 150 HP. Yeah, he's carried. Immediately gonna put this to plus five. Yeah, we're reporting him. And then I'll worry later about going past that. This is how grinding 54 was. 54 DP. Although you I didn't do it yourself. Like a lot. You literally showed up to Saucens like the pack mule you were, and you'd go, "Hey, Mr. Wizard. Hey, man. You have space in your party. I'm I'm here to be at your service. Okay. Like I'm I can fit your entire in my mouth. You know what I mean? But that is huge and you would just follow him around like a rat and you would just pick up all the, the loot boots, that's all you did additional plus two until you hit oh 56 my gosh, what and you would collect silver per hour and go to elric shrine or helms i went to elric's because helms was too contested no everyone 56. everyone that was like a man grinded saucens
I still remember the guy that got my DK to 56 for the first time. I grinded to 55 on my own, and 56 was such a grind back then. It was so hard to get to. I finally went to Saucens, and the guy that leveled me's name was uh, Toilet Water. Um, and I actually saw him in game like a few months ago. It was like four months ago. He popped a bell on the server that I was on, and I actually whispered him because he changed his name slightly. And I was like, are you the same guy? Are you the same toilet water from before? And he goes, oh, yeah, that was my old name. Kakrot just Wait, resubscribed what? for two months. And I was months. like, you power leveled my my Dark Knight to 56 the first time. And he was like, who? I was like, no, don't worry about it, man. Thanks, buddy. I still appreciate it. Kakrot with the two-month resub. Welcome back, man. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much, buddy. Six. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we can finally go do our succession quest. Succession quest basically done. Talk to him again. And that should be it. Let's go. Prime divider. Prime blind slash. Prime He's only got blue. one point in each of the skills. Prime That's crazy, bro. Cyclone. Remove that. Can I get another Rebellious from Guild Bosses? I don't think he's I allowed to join a guild. <clears throat> Got my e -buff. Is the podcast over? Wait, we don't want that. <laughs> yep. Dang. No, it's working on it right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> there we go, baby. Succession. So with reaching level 56 Does and Does Ilya not have sailors skills, anymore? I'm... Ilya has sailors. I'm really starting to feel comfortable on this account. If somebody already hired them, then you have to swap to a different server group. All sailors are the same. If you're on Balanos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all those sailors will be the same. If you go to Valencia 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they will be different than Balanos, but every single server group has its own set of sailors. As far as I'm aware. Although, I did change servers recently, um, and the sailors were exactly the same on every server group. Yeah, so like... It might be the same on every single server now. If somebody hires that sailor, it's gone, and then it'll come back when the timer comes back up. I'm not sure if they, like, ninja changed that or what. Now, I have three of the four piece Grunnel set that I'm aiming for, along with some other pieces of gear that'll assist me in this early game. So far, I'm My really second Kabua drop and 30 pity pieces. Holy shit, bro. What's the best way to spend $1,000 in this game? I'm new. I'm thinking of buying a mythical water-walking horse skin and... A fish tank wagon looks cool. Actually, you only need $600 for that, so the other $400 uh, you can keep. Really enjoying this challenge, and soon I'll be grinding for the Grunnel Boots along with trying to obtain better weapons. But until then, I'll catch you all in the next episode. Did you happen to see the comic you're in for the event? comic okay guys this is azure i wanted to watch this because i love iron man series um and it's a good throwback to what like life was like before uh, i am not going to do one of these you're crazy if you think i'm going to do one of these if you're going to do one of these please film it so that we know when you're going to fail okay um it's important to us that we get to see what how you're limiting yourself and then how many episodes you get in